Hello everybody, this is Dylan from Al Dolly, and today we're going to go over how to balance a camera on the Beholder DS1 camera stabilizer. Right here in front of us is Alex from TRD Beholder, and he's going to show us how to balance a Sony A7S with a 16-35mm lens and a 24-70mm lens. And also we're going to balance a light camera, the BMPCC, which is around 400 grams, with an 8mm pancake lens by Olympus and a 14 to 42 lens by Lumix. One thing we need to mention is do not turn on the stabilizer when there's no camera balanced on it. You can actually damage the motors when you start the stabilizer this way. To balance the stabilizer, we need to understand it's a three axis stabilizer, which means there's pitch slash tilt. This is roll here. And moving below, that's yaw slash pan. The DS1 has a five way joystick that can control yaw and tilt. By quickly pressing the joystick, you can enter lock mode. By quickly pressing again, you can re enter follow mode. And by holding in the joystick for 2 seconds, you can enter headlock mode. And holding in the joystick for 5 seconds will disable the use of the joystick. Just restart the stabilizer to re-enable the joystick. Slide the camera with the quick release plate onto the stabilizer. The goal is to balance the camera so that it can hold any angle without rising or falling. Alex is going to demonstrate what happens when the center mass of a camera is too low. If the center of mass is too low, the camera will seem balanced, but in reality it isn't. If tilt is not balanced correctly, tilt will destabilize under stress. That is because the center of gravity is off. To correct the camera's center of gravity, make your adjustment here by raising the camera up. If the camera does not rise or fall, you got it. Now let's test our balance by stressing that tilt axis. Notice the increased stability. Let's check pitch again and then move on to roll. The goal is to balance the camera so that it does not rise or fall. You do this by adjusting the roll arm in and out. Watch Alex test his balance and then adjust. To balance yaw, watch how Alex holds the stabilizer. Adjust the yaw arm in and out so that the roll motor does not rise or fall. You can test this by touching the stabilizer. You can also check yaw balance this way. A balanced stabilizer will use less power and perform better when stressed. Alex is demonstrating some of the interesting moves you can do with a balanced DS1. Let's talk about follow mode. It's one of the most flexible ways to film with the DS1. As long as your movement stays within seven degrees, the stabilizer will stay locked. 
but once your movement reaches beyond 7 degrees, the stabilizer will follow that direction. Press the joystick in once to change the lock mode. We suggest when you are changing modes not to move the stabilizer. When stabilizer is in lock mode, it'll hold a specific angle. You can adjust this angle with the joystick. To switch back to follow mode, press the joystick in once. To enter headlock mode, press and hold the joystick for 2 seconds. Now tilt will lock and yaw will follow. To access Profile 3 and 4 for lighter cameras, Profile 3 being a follow mode and Profile 4 being a lock mode, press the menu button located here three times or four times to enter respective profile. This button is also referred to as the reset button. Profile 3 and 4 are not designed to be used with the A7S. Gyro calibration is done by pressing the menu button in two times. During this calibration process, the stabilizer must not be touched or subjected to any vibrations. This can cause miscalibrations in the gyro. Calibrating the gyro will solve issues regarding the level of the horizon. To change the lens, turn off the power on the stabilizer. Now let's put on the 16 to 35. Let's check balance again. Looks good. Watch how the length of the lens can be extended without the need to rebalance. The factory PID can be used by many different cameras. Well, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you want the best in camera stabilization, don't forget that Al Dolly delivers the best in customer support for your beholder DS1 or MS1. From repairs to troubleshooting, Al Dolly offers 100% product support.